All right, happy Tuesday, the 31st of January. I'm gonna give you guys a recap on the Super Pug. Before I start tearing back into this thing too far, I wanna give kinda of everybody, especially the new subscribers, an update on kinda of where this came from, what's gonna to happen to it, and all those things, and don't mind the mess down there. It's not in the way for the moment. Um, this Super Pug came via Bob Bates, Robert Bates is his technical screen name. Um, he reached out to me a while ago, last year, about fixing this thing. I hauled it up here a year ago-ish. Um, and it's kind of been a pain in my butt. It sat for the summer. We kind of figured that. Um, and then I dove into this thing. It became way more of a challenge than I had anticipated. Uh, I thought it was freshened up a few things, changed some hoses, and it's far from far from that so um to start off with that's the cab for it, it does have cab windshield um, doors all of those fancy things there's a big rack that goes on the back that holds a chainsaw that's sitting in there and all that fancy stuff this is a kawasaki v-twin the cooler intake on it that's somebody's cut the uh air intake and modified it to shorten it up and then adapt it to a different air intake which is questionable at best um, it is coupled to with a Lovejoy coupler you can see your Lovejoy coupler in there to a hydraulic pump and hydrostat drive the hydrostat drives a hydraulic motor that you can see down here that's coupled to a four-speed Ford transmission for a front wheel drive vehicle so if that was a front wheel drive car that would be the front of the vehicle the engine would sit that way so now we have output shaft going back to the rear for the drive shaft and then just a u-joint coupler down there that would be the left hand drive goes to the front axle so that is kind of the overall fuckery of that. I mean, be honest, it's there's some serious challenges. Try, sorry, trying to get my lights shut off. With making all of those things work, it's had some hydraulic cavitation problems for a slew of reasons. And a lot of it is you got cross feeding hydraulics, you got back feeding hydraulics. You got hydraulics that just simply aren't working correctly. So, in addition, we have the uh, dump and the auxiliary hydraulics. The auxiliary lifts the uh, front lip arms on the front of it. And then there's also hydraulic outputs. I don't know what the flow and the volume and pressure are of those. The uh, hydrostat drive your pedal down there is a linkage runs back and interferes with the frame there's some serious issues with that the shifter as well um, does have hydraulic brakes so that's a plus but I'm sure that needs some work when you when your brake pedal is that high in the air it's a little bit hard to get your foot up and stand on it so or step on it I should say so that's gonna be need some geometry work the hydraulic tank, this is the part that I've redone. I've probably got eight plus hours just into regrinding this tank because most of it, if we flip it here and get you down below, look like that. Just boogers on top of boogers on top of boogers and they're all porous and they're all leaking. And we have cut and welded hydraulic fittings that I don't quite understand um, a slew of other things to fix and now I dumped hydraulic oil on the welding table that was good job Rick oh that rag will work um, so there's been a lot of refabrication work redoing all these seams to make sure that they're not porous and leaking there's a bunch of hydraulic stuff that needs to be reworked. The filters were being bypassed. They had two massive hydraulic filters on them. And 
and some of the hydraulic oil was not even going through them. So, I mean, just directly bypassing them. So we got a lot of things to figure out and a lot of things to rework and re-engineer and remodify. And I have, I don't know, 30 plus hours into this thing already, just getting it to this point and documenting where all of the wiring goes and all of those things trying to document and picture and make uh, video documents of where everything is supposed to go back to let alone trying to uh, re-engineer and remodify and make this thing work so we got a lot of work to do it's just going to take a lot of time to get there but hopefully we can get this thing working right again if you guys want to see more subscribe ring the bell get my notifications grab a membership you'll get members only videos pretty much every day and it, they're kind of about a week ahead so you kind of get a sneak peek of what's coming up so you guys have a great day and i'm gonna go work on that we're all the way up to 67 in here now see you guys again next time